we have to bifurcate the variable and fix it then we have to start our problem percentage i have mentioned anywhere no percentage they have not mentioned means complete 40 seats are filled per passenger the company or the service sector is spending 30 paise per passenger hope you are clear your original cost of vehicle we have to calculate depreciation and it is variable Hello everyone, this is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session 3 of your operating costing. In the previous session, I spoke about your 5 mark topics and I told you about the 10 mark topics we are going to discuss. Now, your 5 mark topics are done under operating costing. As you know, those are very simple. Even 10 mark problems also very easy as well as easily you can understand. Now, but you have to find out which are running expenses and which are fixed expenses. You have to learn that which are fixed and which are learning. Fixed and learning it is nothing but variable and fixed expenses. Like rent, rent we call it as fixed expenses. Even though we have one student, we have to pay rent. Even though we have 100 students, we have to pay the same rent. So we have to bifurcate the variable and fixed, then we have to start our problem. So we'll do one problem, you will understand better how to do your 10 mark questions. Agenda is very simple, we have concept along with we have problems. Problem number one, a transport company running four buses between two towns. How many buses we have? Four between two towns, which are 50 kilometers apart, means one side. Now, seating capacity of each bus in 40 passenger and the following particulars were obtained from their books for the April 2015. Now, Percentage I have mentioned anywhere, no, percentage they have not mentioned means complete 40 seats are filled. Now, company using number of buses, 4 and 2 towns which is 50 kilometers apart, 50 plus 50 and then seating capacity of the bus, 40. Then. The following particulars were obtained. Only we have, so transport company running four buses between two towns, which are 50 kilometers apart, seating capacity of each bus in 40 passenger, the following particular. They have not mentioned number of trips. They have not mentioned percentage. So your answer must be restricted to this. So these are the calculation we have. We'll calculate this. So it will be how much? 4 into 100 into number of passenger how much? 40. I got around 16,000. How much I got? 16,000. This is your passenger kilometer. So total passenger kilometer, they have not mentioned number of trips. They have not mentioned percentage. That's why we go directly with 4 into 100 into 40. Now, once if you are done with this, we just all this information given, we have to bifurcate whether it is a fixed or running expenses. Now, wages of driver, it is a fixed. Then salary of office, it is fixed. Diesel, oil and this, this is variable. Repair and maintenance, variable. Taxation, fixed, depreciation, variable, then interest and other charges, it is fixed. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, I'll go for this. This will be particular expenses per month, expenses per passenger. Fixed are standing expenses. Standing expenses. Fixed are standing expenses. We'll go one by one. Wages of driver and conductor. 
wages of driver and conductor how much it is 24000 next after this salary of office and supervisory 10000 salary of office supervisory how much we got it is 10000 then we have diesel oil it comes in a variable repair and maintenance variable taxation and insurance it is 16000 taxation and insurance 16000 then we have depreciation it is variable and interest and other charges 20000 we got fixed so interest interest and other charges interest and other charges so how much we have it is 20000 So twenty four plus ten, thirty four plus sixteen, it will be forty four and fifty, and we got seventy thousand total running total standing charges. Now, so expenses per month we got, but expenses per kilometer you did not get. How to do that? Now seventy thousand we have. We have sixteen thousand your total passenger kilometer. Now it will be seventy thousand divided by sixteen thousand. Now it will be seventy thousand divided by sixteen thousand. It will be how much? Four thousand three seventy five. So again, I'll calculate seventy thousand divided by. Sixteen thousand. I got four thousand three seventy five. So four thousand three seventy five. Now, so we'll check once again in this a transport company company running four buses between two towns, which has fifty passenger capacity. Yes. Now, which month we are doing? April month. Now your final answer into number of days is how much? Thirty. We have not mentioned the number of days. Very important. Even though the number of days are not mentioned, if they mention which month is this, then we have to consider. It will be how much? Your sixteen thousand into thirty. We get around four lakh eighty thousand. Your answer is four lakh eighty. Thousand. Now, so you can multiply here also. You can multiply on final answer also. Now, how much is your passenger kilometer? Four lakh eighty. This must be. This must be four lakh eighty thousand. So if you divide, your answer will be change four lakh eighty thousand. So it will be. Your seventy thousand divided by four lakh eighty thousand. I got around zero point one four five. Zero point one four five. This is your per kilometer cost. Only the fixed are standing charges. Now we'll go for variable are running charges. Variable are running expenses are. Running charges, variable or running charges, or we can call it as running expenses. Now, so variable or running expenses, we have like diesel oil and other oil. So how much diesel and other oil? So it is how much? Forty thousand. After this, we have after diesel repair and maintenance. It is also variable eight thousand repair and maintenance. It is eight thousand 
and after that we have taxation is over then depreciation rupees 26 depreciation is rupees 26000 similar how much it is 60 74000 i'll check once again variable we have 1 2 3 40000 8000 26 40 66 yes 74000 now what is the total passenger kilometer 480000 74 total variable cost so it will be 74000 divided by 480000 how much it is yes 480000 now so what is the answer now 74,000 divided by 480,000, it will be 0 0.154, 0 0.154. What is the total expenditure now? I'll go back. 0 0.145 plus 0 0.145. You get around 29 pesos. It will be around 0. 30. Per kilometer, how much you are getting? So, expenses per passenger kilometer, you will get 30 paise. Per passenger, the company or the service sector is spending 30 paise per passenger. Hope you are clear. So, this is what all the transportation sector works. They charge per passenger what will be the cost. Above that, they will charge per passenger the rates. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is all about your problem number one. I'll go to problem number two. Under problem number two, the road transport company which keeps a fleet of lorries gives the following information. Now, wages for the month of June. So, it is what? Wages is fixed. Petrol oil variable. Repair fixed. So, repair comes under variable. Va repair variable. Garage rent fixed. License and insurance. It is fixed. Then, your original cost of vehicle. We have to calculate depreciation and it is variable. Depreciation charges 15%. And total passenger kilometer they have only given. We need not to multiply 4 into 4 into no calculation. They have only given directly what is the total kilometer run. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, so directly we'll go for fixed or standing expenses. Fixed or standing expenses. Now, in this first one we have wages it is fixed 24000 we are calculating for the month of june so we have petrol oil and all it goes to variable repair it goes to variable garage rent fixed it is 12000 after that License insurance, it is how much? 18,000 we have fixed it, but they have given per year. We don't want per year because we are calculating only for month. So for the month of June, we are calculating. So 18,000 divided by 12. License. License. 18,000 divided by 12. How much we will get? 18,000 divided by 12. I got around 1,500. 1,500. Now, once if it is done, the next one. After license, we have original cost of machine. It is available. Yes, done with all the fixed. Now, we'll add this. 24 plus 12, 36,000. And we have 37,500. This is what total fixed cost now 
37,500 divided by what is the number of kilometers? We have 30,000. So how much we will get? We'll check this. 37,500 divided by 30,000. I got around 1.25. 1.25 is your total fixed expenses. Hope you are clear. Yes, I'll go for continuation. Variable are running charges. Variable are running expenses. Variable are running expenses. Now, in this, we'll go for one by one. We have repairs is 16,000. Repairs. Repairs is 16,000. And we have garage rent is over. Yes, we have original cost of vehicle. So there is a petrol and oil 60,000. Petrol and oil, petrol and oil, 60,000. And depreciation, what is the value? 10 lakh. What is the percentage? 15%. I'll check once. Your original cost is 10 lakh. And what is the percentage? We have 15% per annum, but we need per month. So, into 1 by 12. Hope you are clear. So whatever given per annum, we are converting to per month. So 10 lakh into 15% into 1 divided by 12. I got around 12,500. 12,500. Total this. So 60, 70, 88, 500. This is total variable, total variable cost. Now I'll cross check once. 16,000 plus 60,000 plus 12,500, 88,500. Now 88,500 divided by number of kilometers is how much? 30 divided by 30. How much I got? 2.95. What is the total cost? 2.95 plus 1.25. I got around 4.2. Your answer is 4.2. This is what your expenses per passenger kilometer are. Cost per passenger kilometer. Hope you are clear. Yes. So I'll go back to all these slides. Please take a screenshot. So this is your problem number one. Your solution part. Problem number one. Second part of your solution. Problem number two. Next part of your solution. Your second question, solution, yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So this is your 10 mark question. We have another small, small adjustment. Next session will cover up that also small topic. Next session will try to complete this topic. Thank you.